For a lot of us, eating a kolache is the closest we've come to Texas Czech culture, but the history runs deep here. Kevin Reese and photojournalist John Goss show us in tonight's WFAA original. For 150 years or so, the echoes of accordions and trumpets have drifted across north central Texas. Hey, hurry up. Is that too loose? <laughs> There you go, Rita. And at a dance hall on the east side of Ennis. Third and fourth generation Czechs are still dancing. To the same old tune. It's part of who we are. The third generation Czech mayor's grandparents used to spin counterclockwise on the dance floor too. It makes me smile, it makes me happy, um, makes me do that kind of thing. <laughs> As fun as this is, we're not here to waltz down memory lane. Jakobik. As Stevie Jakobik reminded me. If they're not light on their feet, they can't do it. <laughs> this is a competition. You're going to see a lot of them that just hop around there and have a heck of a good time. <laughs> a good time as the 52nd annual National Polka Festival crowns its 32nd king and queen. Nastravi. Rita Holland's mom and dad started all this. It's her generation's turn now. Daddy always said it doesn't have to be fancy dancing. It just needs to be lively and fun. Fun, that means 11 contestants in official numbers and three rounds of polka music under the watchful eye of discerning judges. Are you ready for the dance contest? Until Ennis finds its newest king and queen. But as they danced, past kings and queens have to sit. You only get to win this thing once, like Jake and Jessica Holland. Trying to explain how you get into polka dancing to someone that's unfamiliar is it's hard. But that's okay with Pat and Doris Mollenhauer. It's fun, we love to dance. The king of 20 years ago is nursing an 80-year-old sore knee. Oh, I, I took some Advil, so I think <laughs> I'll be all right later. He might need, well. a, might need a beer or two. <laughs> The contestants that stay on the dance floor are number one, number two, and number seven. And as the finalists spun through one final poker, it's worth noting that Czech history and Czech shoes scoot just fine, thank you, right next to cowboy boots in Texas. The runners up would be a brother and sister whose last name is Cabrera, and the winner is a Dallas nurse with a Czech family and her Waxahachie firefighter husband, who first met each other at a quinceanera. Jody and Julio Hernandez from Ennis, Texas. Congratulations. She actually taught me how to dance, so I can't, I can't say anything else. I have a TR because of this man, because he took his time to dance with me, and that's all I can ask for. And as the newest king and queen took their final spin, they proved Czech traditions are still alive and well, blended with a Texas two-step or two. 150 years and counting. In Ennis, Texas, Kevin Reese, Channel 8 News. Nothing like polka. A lot of polka, a lot of folks polka in Nebraska. Whoopi John polka, I remember. Frankie Yankovic. Uh, wow. So a lot of folks have a good time with polka. Are you a big so polka dancer? No, I, actually, I'll, although I will say, when I was in college, I played in a polka band for oh. a while. You know, you're broke in college, so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you play whatever somebody asks you to play. Did you pick up any chicks doing that? Uh, no. Okay. Just check. <laughs> hey, Joe, it's what you were thinking. <laughs> Trey on the there. back side. I know he was thinking. I was just asking what Joe was Did thinking. Did you have the outfit? <laughs> Oh, no, no, oh. no, 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 no. I, I, was, I was a student at Creighton, and they called and said, hey, we need, a, we need somebody to play the drums, and polka is not hard. I mean, it's really easy to play. Plus, everybody has a good time, and uh, yeah. you kids be quiet. There's plenty, <laughs> there's plenty of beer. <laughs> <laughs> okay.